Went well, well. Uh, I thought defensively we looked really, uh, really good. I thought we were real in touch with each other. I don't felt we had a lot of like trust in the defense. Like everything was rolling the way it's supposed to. But uh, we're going back, uh, watching the film the next day. We still got a lot to improve on. Was it nice to play that three tech again? After oh yeah, it was lovely. I love playing uh, three tech. You know, it's more my natural position. You know, I love being able to attack and get a great knockback and shed and making the play. Could you guys tell right away that maybe, especially the defensive line, you guys were just in better positions to yeah, succeed yeah. right off the bat? Uh -huh, yeah, definitely. Um, not just because the defense is just as a whole, we've gotten, we've advanced, you know, we're more experienced up front, you know, having Oa back, having a guy who's been here for the last uh, five years and having uh, Kenny Clark, who's phenomenal. And, you know, just the whole defense is, is really, defense line is really coming along from last year, you know. What was it like playing next to Oa for the first time? Oh, it was a, it's amazing playing next to Oa, you know? It's, uh, <clears throat> it's nice having the, you know, the pocket collapse this way to bring the quarterback up. So it gives uh, us interior guys a better chance to get the quarterback and maybe knock some balls down or keep collapsing the pocket where he has nowhere to run. How much does it help you guys in the run game when a guy like Kenny Clark in the middle gets eight tackles? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome having a guy like uh, Kenny Clark in the middle. I mean, if you run the ball in the middle, you know he's going to make a play. So it's like it's stupid for him to do that. <laughs> Does it feel like does it feel like this defense? I know you guys, you know, you outscore the offense in week one. Does it feel like you know, with all the attention the offense got, maybe the defense could be the one that earns a reputation for this team, especially um, how well you guys started. Uh, going going to this year, you know, we wanted to uh, really earn the respect uh, in the eyes of others as a defense. We wanted to we knew that we had to go out there, you know, you know, you know. We had some doubts because, you know, Anthony Barr's gone, Jordan's gone, Cassius is gone. Some people thought we had some big holes in the defense, but we really had a uh, <clears throat> chip on our shoulder to come out and prove that uh, we're just as strong or better than last year. You guys did a really good job against the Run versus Virginia. Memphis and Everton, I guess, to run the ball with me, keep you guys to kind of shut down the running game. Stay in our gaps. Uh, simple as that. Stay in our gaps. Um, don't get washed. Um, do, do our technique that uh, Coach Angus teaches us every week, Coach Rick teaches us every week, and uh, do we Any impression of what uh, up this offensive line? Uh, they get a good line up front. They're big. Uh, I think they tackle or some of the things like 6'6, 6'7, 325. Other guards 6'2, 280. Uh, center, I think, is around 6'2, 6'4. So they're all good size around the, uh, along the board, and they're uh, physical, very physical uh, offensive line. How much does it complicate things for you guys when they have, you know, they employ the option, you know, in a variety of different ways? How tough is it? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I have no clue. I do my assignment. We all do our assignment, so I don't really know exactly how tough. So it doesn't change much. No, it doesn't change much. So, uh, we're still going to do we just some minor adjustments, but keep doing our job, uh, stay in our gaps, uh, play unselfish as a defense, and keep doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm.